For Poland Daily News, I'm Phil Goss. Poland has sent its draft of the National Recovery Plan to the European Commission, said Waldemar Buda, Deputy Minister for Funds and Regional Development. All EU countries have to submit to the European Commission their own version of the recovery plan, describing how they will allocate the funds from the EU's recovery fund. On May 4th, Poland's lower house of parliament is set to discuss a government draft law on ratifying an EU multi-billion euro pandemic recovery fund. Under the recovery fund, Poland could receive some 58.1 billion euros in grants and loans, including over 34 billion euros this year. The ratification, needed for Poland to tap into the EU's multi-billion euro post-pandemic package, drew closer after the Polish government won support from the left party opposition on Tuesday. Meanwhile, an MP from Solidarity Poland, a junior member of the governing United Right Coalition, said on Friday that his parties would vote against the ratification of the National Recovery Plan as its launching may threaten Poland's sovereignty and harm the country's economy in the future. The Polish Ministry of Health confirmed 6,469 new coronavirus cases and 423 deaths over the 24-hour period ending Friday at midnight, down 327 new cases when compared to the previous day. The reproduction coefficient of the COVID-19 virus fell on Friday to 0.72, the lowest point since the pandemic breakout. The reproduction coefficient shows how many people are infected by one carrier. Above one means the pandemic is spreading. The healthcare system is now handling 22,415 COVID-19 hospitalizations, down from 23,469 recorded the day before, among which 2,723 patients are on ventilators from a pool of 4,630 available units. The health ministry also reported that 185,680 people are under quarantine. So far, 2,510,858 people have recovered. Moody's rating agency released Poland's long-term rating in foreign currency, giving it an A2 grade with stable outlook. According to the agency, the rating balances favorable growth and fiscal outlook on the one hand, with challenges to Poland's institutional strength on the other. According to Moody's, the Polish economy is resilient, evidenced by only a moderate recession during the COVID pandemic compared to its neighbors. But while Poland's institutional framework remains sound overall, it faces challenges, particularly in the context of adverse developments in Poland's judicial system. The statement read, Moody's upheld its forecasts from early April, predicting that the Polish economy will expand by 3.3% this year and by 4.8% in 2022. Poland supports families. Starting in 2016, the government launched a 500-plus program, cash handouts of 500 Polish zloty per month for each child under the age of 18. So far, over 30 billion euro were invested in the country's future. Apparently, it has also influenced the country's past. Archaeologists at the National Museum in Warsaw found that one of the mummies was pregnant. Tomographic scans of the body of the priest, Hor Jehuty, proved that he was in fact a woman, a pregnant woman. The examination of an ancient Egyptian mummy in the collection of the National Museum in Warsaw has revealed the world's first known case of a pregnant embalmed body. The discovery that the mummy, which was at first believed to be the body of the priest Horge Huti, was actually a female, occurred in 2016. But now new research by a Polish team of scientists has revealed that the woman in the bandages was pregnant. We were about to conclude the project when my husband Stanisław, an Egyptian archaeologist, looked at the X-ray images and saw in the deceased woman's womb a little foot. The mummy was subjected to several sets of tomographic scans, X-rays and a three-dimensional visualization which allowed a closer examination of the entire fetus, indicating that the woman had been in the 26th to 28th week of pregnancy. Researchers have not yet determined the gender of the fetus. For unknown reasons, the fetus was not removed from the abdomen of the deceased during mummification. That's why this mummy is really special. This means that our mummy is the only one so far recognized in the world with a fetus in the womb. The researchers performed a three-dimensional reconstruction of the body of the dead woman. This was possible without having to unwrap the mummy thanks to tomographic technology. The 3D images clearly show long, curly hair flowing down to her shoulders and mummified breasts. The researchers have not been able to determine the cause of death yet. 
It is known that the woman was in her 20s. Body tissue contained traces of her blood. As part of the next stage, scientists want to analyze its composition, possibly determining the cause of death because certain toxins indicative of specific diseases can be detected even today, she added. For Poland Daily News, I'm Phil Goss. Good night.